Let's begin. Welcome to Rapid Miner. Rapid Miner Studio has a lot of features to offer. In the next few minutes, you will learn how, to, how you can use Rapid Miner Studio to perform basic data science techniques, such as accessing data, transforming data, and building statistical models. We will use uh, data describing the Titanic passengers. Also, the explanation. Each tutorial is broken down into several steps to teach you the basics of Rapid Miner Studio. Each step lists specific action to perform, plus an explanation of why those actions matter. Notice the dotted line preview in the process panel. This shows you the process you will be building in that. We're on step two, since we finished the introduction, and we can get started. Find the repository panel on the left of your screen. It's right here. Open the folder samples and then data. Samples, then data. Then drag the Titanic training, which we find here, into our process. Connect the output port out right here to the results, right here. Make the connection by dragging a line. Did that. Click the run on top and go. Now this is the results section that I was mentioning. And as you can see, we have data, statistics, visualization, annotations. Now let's see if we have any questions. So we've just mastered our first tutorial. And I know this seems basic, but the, but things, but it's important to start from the things we can all understand and then move on to the more complex uh, operations. Now to quickly review, operators perform individual actions. You can connect operators together to build a process and to see the output of an operator connect to the result port. Now this is the result port and as you can see, we can have as many results as we want. So if, we, if our process is very complex or we have uh, a lot of steps within our process, we can have more results. Now, if our process is identical, which is retrieving the Titanic set and connecting it to result, and we run, we're going to have three of the same results. And the results are displayed in these tabs up here. Next thing that we need to know, running the process performs all operators and automatically shows the results, which we understood by pressing this button to run or pressing F11 on our keyboard, which does the same thing. Okay, we're done with the first tutorial. It was very simple. Let's delete the nodes that we don't need. And then let's save the process. And we're going to make a folder within our processes as getting started. And within getting started, we're going to save the tutorial one data retrieval. Click OK, and you save the process. And now we can load it later if we happen to need it. Let's move on to the second one.